Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a tic-tac-toe AI using Python and an algorithm called Minimax. We don't use any packages, we code everything so you will understand everything that is going on. We will first create the game and then implement the algorithm. But for now let's see how it works. So we start and the computer goes first as you can see. So he played an X there and now we play. We just choose a position. So let's play a losing move. So this is a losing move and the computer knows how to punish this as you can see. So when I block to 7 he has a win. So no matter what I play he wins. So he can't lose but you can draw against him if you play perfectly. Again he will play the same move and if we play in the center and just block everything uh, we can get a draw as you can see but he can't lose so he, either he wins or or he draws and I'll show you how to do that right now okay so the first thing we have to do is we need to set up the board I chose this approach with using key and value pairs but you can use lists if you prefer that way but I find this much more uh, intuitive and easier and now that we have the board so basically we initialize the board to be the first position is empty second position is empty third position is empty and so on and now when a player inputs something we will just say okay in which position he entered so let's say he entered one put his mark here so that's why this key and value pair uh, is really useful because he will be entering one two three four five six or seven eight nine and then we know exactly where to put everything and the next thing we want to do is to print out the board so the way to that so let's define a method print board that takes in the board and we'll just say print board and then one so meaning print the value at the key one so we'll print empty for now and then we'll just put this you can put anything you want but this looks really nice and again we pl place this and then board um, three oops okay and then we want to do this so print and minus plus minus plus minus and now we'll we'll just copy this so three times for each row and just change this to four and let's call the function print board board and run the program and as you can see we have a board here and if we had like an X here and O here we print you can see that okay I put spaces here but let's run it again you can see that this is how our board will look like and in here we don't need this we'll print a new line okay much nicer and much cleaner okay so when a player inputs something it will be printed here just make sure to reset these to uh, to a space if you haven't and now let's write a method that checks if the space is free so let's call it space is free and you take the position so it will take one two three or so and if if board of position is equal equal to a space so as we initialize this that's that means it is empty and then we return true otherwise we return false so if we modify this to an x and let's print the board as you can see it is not empty and when we say print space is free one it should return false as you can see and if we say two it should return true because there is nothing on two so our method uh, space is free works and it, it will be really useful when a player enters 
their position, we need to check if the space is actually free. And now let's insert some letters. So we'll define a method called insert letter that will take a letter and the position in which we need to insert letters. So if space is free, first we check the availability of position. If that is free, we say board of position is equal to letter. And then we print the board to notify the user that we board uh, to notify the user that he has made good changes. And if he doesn't, if the space isn't free, we want to say print can't insert there. And then we recursively we ask again for a position. So integer of input enter new position okay like this so we take the input we convert it to an integer because we want one two three four five six or nine and then we recursively call insert let hold on insert letter with letter and position and we return okay but we have some more conditions we need to check for a win so if he actually entered something we need to check if and then we will check for draw we don't have that method but we'll add it and then print draw and exit and if it's not a draw if we check for win again we will write these methods if letter is equal equal to x so if we entered x we print bot wins and exit and else print player wins which is never going to happen but and we exit and again we return so we still don't have these uh, check for draw and uh, check for win, but I created them now. They don't do anything, but we can actually insert the position uh, now. X and position one. Can't insert there because we already have something here. So let's put this to empty rerun the program and as you can see it works and now if we call it again it should say that we cannot insert there and we should enter new position let's press two and as you can see we entered two axes okay and now let's create those check for draw and check for win methods let's now create a check draw method so it will go like this for each key in board.keys so it will take each one, two, three, and so on. For each of them, if board of key is equal equal to space, we will return false because we, if there are still empty spaces, we can still play and otherwise return true. So if there are still available spaces, return false because we can still play and if there are none we return true and it's a draw so it's a pretty pretty simple method and now let's create a check for win method so it will go like this we just have to check the diagonals and rows and columns so it's pretty long uh, list of conditions you can find it in the description uh, i don't want to waste your time by writing it but you know the rules if these are the same a player has one if these are the same a player has one if one five and nine or seven five or three are the same the player has one or one four seven two five eight three six nine and so on so basically this just checks for each of those conditions and if some of them are true it returns true and if none are true it returns false because the player hasn't actually won yet
So everything needs to be the same. So board one, board two, and board three. And then it needs to be different from a space because we need to have an X or an O there. So it's a pretty, pretty simple method. You can just copy and paste it if you don't want to type it by yourself. And now we have a mechanism for checking for draws and checking for wins inside our insert letter. So every time a player inserts the letter, we check for a win or a draw. And we're almost done. We still need to add a few methods. And now we're just going to create some methods that allow us to actually play the game. So we don't have to write uh, methods manually. So we'll name this player, player move, and it will take a position from the player, convert it to an integer, enter the posi position for O. Our player will play with O, and then it automatically inserts the letter to player and position. And this player is, will create it, player is equal to O. And bot is equal to X. And this is position. And return. So basically this method just takes the input and insert, tries to insert the letters. So we don't have to do it each time manually. And we'll have the same one for computer for now before we create the minimax method. So just like this. But instead of player, we put bot. And now our game works and uh, we'll run it like this. So we'll say while not check for win computer move and player move. I mistyped this. Just a second player move. And now our game should actually work. So enter the position for O. Uh, this should be X. So one, okay. And let's press two, four, uh, three, and let's press seven. And bot wins. As you can see, we have connected these three. Okay, so our game works now. And now comes a bit harder part where we actually have to create an AI player. But this video will be split into two sections. So the first one will create the game like we just did. And in the next video, you can see how I actually implement the minimax algorithm so your bot can actually play the game. If you want to support the channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss a video.